Hello everyone, hello Torah community, Chodesh Tov, it's Rav Natan here. I'm excited to share some words of Torah for this week's Parsha, Parsha Noach, with you. At the end of the Parsha, Noach wants to know if there's dry land. So he sends out a raven and then a dove. The raven, the Pasuk says, goes back and forth until the waters dry up. The Yonah goes out, comes back, has an olive branch, and eventually uh, tells Yonah, shows Yonah that there is dry land, which leaves the Teva. What's the difference between these two bo- birds? Why were they both sent out? And what can they teach us being right next to each other in the same story, seemingly trying to accomplish the same task? A beautiful idea is that the raven was actually useless to, to, to Noah. Noah thought that maybe if he sends out the raven, the raven could tell him whether or not the waters had receded and he could go out. But instead, the raven just went back and forth over and over again, never staying out for any amount of time, never collecting any data as to whether or not there was dry land. And eventually, when there was no more water, just didn't come back. Noah, Noah could have seen that on his own. He didn't need the raven for that. On the contrast, what did the dove do? The dove went out, and after quite a few days, came back tired, the Pasuk says. Noah realized he was so tired because he checked so many places and there was no dry land. Noah waits a little while and then sends him back out. This time also after a good amount of time, but the dove comes back with an olive branch in his mouth. So helpful to Noah because now he knows there is dry land, but only the treetops, not enough to leave the Teva. And then the third time he sends out the dove, the dove after a little while does not come back and Noah knows it's time to come out and he comes out. When someone asks us to do something in life, we want to be the kind of people that really go over and above for whoever is asking us. Not like the raven who really wasn't helpful to to Noah, who really just didn't go over and above in the task and then it ended up not doing what Noah asked. Really to be like the Yonah, to do our best, to go 100% when people are asking things of us. And this applies in so many areas, whether it's a friend who needs help to go over and above and do exactly what they ask, whether it's someone, a student, whether it's a teacher or anyone else in life, and certainly with Hashem. When Hashem asks things of us, whether to have good midot, to do chesed, to do mitzvot, ben adam lemakom, ben adam lechavero, to really think, how can we be like the Yonah, extend ourselves, give 100%, and do the task completely so that we ultimately uh, give completely to whoever it is uh, that asks us to, to do for them. Shabbat shalom.